Hi, I'm Jed Carney, the President of the ACTU. Today, workers across the world are demanding that global corporations take their hands off our right to strike. On behalf of the ACTU and its two million members, I am proud to stand with them. The right for workers to strike can be all that stands between a decent working life and one of poverty, injury, exploitation and in the worst cases, slavery. In Australia, workers taking action together have delivered safer workplaces, fair minimum wages, reasonable hours of work, equal pay, Medicare, the weekend and the list goes on. The right to strike is an international one. The global corporations, stronger than ever, have been trying to tear it up. Along with governments and trade unions, they sit on the governing body of the International Labour Organisation, or the ILO. Now that's the global body that sets and monitors international labour standards. The ILO has made life better for hundreds of millions of working people right across the globe, from combating child labour to ending slavery. But since 2012, employers have blocked its vital work in a bid to tear up the international right to strike. Now, let me tell you, that is not going to happen. Trade unions worldwide will never agree to it and no decent government will ever agree to it. That's why today we're calling on the Australian Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Australia's employer representative at the ILO, to stop the sabotage and to back the international right to strike. After all, it is a foundation of democracy and a fundamental human right.